Welcome to another video. This will be a quick walkthrough on some templating examples within the Home Assistant Lovelace interface. I'll be adding two templated cards to my dashboard I created in my previous video. First thing I'm going to do is create a new dashboard just for creating the new cards. I will later copy the new cards and paste them onto my main dashboard. The first card I'm creating is a templated markdown card. This is going to display a message dependent on the time of day. I'll start off by capturing the current time using if now and specify this command to only capture the hour, so ignoring the date, minutes and seconds. Next will be the argument. The first one is less than 5, so if the time is before 5am, it will show the message goodnight. The commands following on from this will be in the same format. I'll change the if command to else if, and also change the time argument and the message to be displayed afterwards. So now I'll have good morning if the time is before 12 and good afternoon if the time is before 6 p.m. The last command will start with else. So if none of the variables above are met, or in this case if the time is after 6 p.m., it will display the message good evening. We can then complete this template using the endif command. Click save and if this worked correctly you should see the specified message dependent on the current local time. Next I'm going to attach an emoji to each message. You can grab an emoji from iemoji.com the code we need for each emoji is the Python code. The first one I'm going to use is a coffee cup emoji, which I'm going to use in the good morning message. When you've found the emoji you want to use, scroll down to the most up-to-date version. In this case, it's iOS 7. Look for the Python source code and copy everything inside of the quotation marks. At the end of the displayed message, I'm going to paste in the emoji python source code as shown here. Click save and if done correctly you should now see the emoji displayed with your specified message. So now I'm just going to show you the other emojis I'll be using within this card. Again, these were all captured from the iemoji.com site and they all use the same Python source code. Now I'm just going to add in these remaining emojis to the other arguments on my templated markdown card. Make sure to leave the end if command at the end of this template to close off all the arguments correctly. To finish this card off, I'm going to centre the displayed message, have everything in bold and change the font sizing.
I'm also going to add a line break at the end of each message so the emoji will be displayed underneath the text. Adding in just one line break caused the emoji to overlap with the text, so I opted for two line breaks. With this card finished, I'm going to include it underneath the current time on my main dashboard. The time card on my main dashboard was created using a markdown card like this one. So all I need to copy here is the code within the contents box. Underneath the already existing template is where I'm going to paste in the new code. I'm going to remove the line breaks at the top of this code and include new line breaks just to separate the displayed time and the newly pasted template. There's still a bit of overlapping with the emoji, so I'm just going to add in one more line break to each message. You might have also noticed that the card's background and border has been removed to make this card transparent. I've shown how this can be accomplished on my previous video, which I'll link in the description. The next template example will be embedded within a custom button card. The custom button card is a front-end component that can be downloaded from Hacks. Again, for further information on this, you can check out my previous video, which I'll have linked in the description. For this example, I'm going to change the card's background color depending on the state of my device tracker. This device tracker uses the Ping platform, so this will send a ping from Home Assistant to my phone which will determine whether or not I'm at home. I've set the name to Adam is, followed by the displayed state, so it will either show Adam is home or Adam is away. Within the style section is where the template will be added. As mentioned, I want the template to determine what colour the card's background will be. The colour code will be written using hex. You can get the hex code by searching colour picker on Google. The first argument will be to display this colour if the state of the device tracker is away. To get the state of a device within a template, you can use isState followed by the specified device, then the state you want to use.
So to recap here, the template says, if the device tracker shows not home, the background will be red. If the device tracker shows anything other than not home, the background will be gray. At the moment, my phone's Wi-Fi is turned off. So Home Assistant is assuming I'm not at home and therefore the card's background is red. I'm now turning my phone's Wi-Fi on and off and this templated card will adjust accordingly. I'm going to include this card to an empty space on the far right side of my header. Because there's currently nothing there, I'll need to copy the full YAML code of this card, ready to be pasted inside the horizontal stack I'm using on the header. To finish off, I'm just going to increase the font size on this new button card. One more tweak I want to make is changing the colour of the templated Markdown Cards text to match the colour of the icons I used on my button cards. That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, leave a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more content like this. Or if you have any ideas for any future videos, let me know in the comments section below. Also, please subscribe to help grow this channel and also keep yourself notified when I post future content.